Hello and welcome to another Orange Coast College Mathematics video. In this video, we're going to learn to find the slope of a line. What is the slope of a line? It is the ratio of the vertical change to the horizontal change. So if we look at the line and we just fix a point here, so we just say, okay, we're at this point. For every one unit we go to the right, we go up half a unit up. So you can see this if you go two units to the right, you go exactly one unit up. It doesn't really matter where you start to. If I start here, two units to the right, one unit up. Two units to the right, I go one unit up. So for every two units I travel to the right on the line, the line travels one unit up. So we look at this ratio of the y change over the x change. In this case, that's one divided by two. So we say the slope of this line is one half. So in this video, we'll learn to find the slope if we know two points on the line, any two points, we can find the slope. We'll also sort of learn how to look at a line and kind of give an idea of what its slope must be. That is, if it's a positive, negative, etc. We begin with an example. Let's find the slope of the line passing through each pair of points, if we can. So the way we do this is to, the slope is the change in the y coordinate divided by the change in the x coordinate. So what does it mean the change? It just means the difference. So let's color code these points for here. So we'll call this the red point and this the blue point. So the slope, we usually use the letter M to represent the slope in the equation of a line. Don't ask me why. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the blue coordinate for each one minus the red coordinate. So it's 5 is the Y coordinate minus negative 1. So we take the difference in the Y coordinate. It's 5 minus negative 1. And then I divide that by the difference in the x-coordinates. And I have to keep the ordering the same. So it's going to be blue minus red. So it's going to be 0 minus 6. Sorry, 6 should be red. Okay. So if we work this out now, 5 minus negative 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6, divided by negative 6. And so our slope is negative 1. So a negative slope means that as we go to the right, as we increase our x by 1, negative 1 slope means we go down 1 unit. So each unit to the right means go down 1 unit. Now for b, again, let's color code these. All right. So our slope for b, it's going to be 7 minus 7 divided by 2 minus negative 3. Okay, so we get 7 minus 7 is 0, and we get 2 minus negative 3 is 2 plus 3 is 5. It doesn't really matter. We get 0 here. Okay, so what that means is that for each unit to the right, our y-coordinate changes by 0. So in other words, we are not changing our y-coordinate as we move to the right, which means we have a horizontal line. So horizontal line has zero slope. Okay, as the x coordinate changes, the y coordinate does not change. Finally, for our last one here, C, we have the slope is okay. I don't, I'm not going to color code this one. So it's the change in the y coordinate. So it's y. It was one minus negative four. And it doesn't matter which one. I could have done, by the way, blue. I could have done. I did blue minus red here. I could have done red minus blue as long as it's the same in the numerator as it is in the denominator. So up here, I get 1 minus negative 4. And the denominator, I get 3 minus 3. So if we do this, we get 1 minus negative 4 is 1 plus 4 is 5 divided by 0. So this is undefined. We cannot divide by 0. And what that means is this is a vertical line. In other words, the x-coordinate is not changing direction. The y-coordinate changes direction, but the x-coordinate does not. So it's undefined. Example 2. Determine whether the line below has positive slope, negative slope, zero slope, or undefined slope. So what positive slope means, so always imagine that your line is traveling to the right, because to the right would be in the positive x direction. So as we go to the right, is the y coordinate going up or is it going down? So for this first one, as we move to the right, we're going up. So that means we have a positive change in the y direction, for a positive change in the x direction. In other words, positive divided by positive is positive. So in this case, the slope over here is positive 
if we go down to the next one, when we increase the x-coordinate, when the x-coordinate is increasing or moving in a positive direction to the right, our y-coordinate is decreasing or going down, so moving in a negative direction. So as the x-coordinate moves in a positive direction, the y-coordinate moves in a negative direction. So if you think about it in terms of change in y divided by change in x, when we have a negative change in y, we'd be dividing by a positive change in x, so that slope would be negative. So as you move to the right, the line travels down. That's what negative slope looks like. Now, as we go over here, <clears throat> the x-coordinate, this is a vertical line, and the x-coordinate cannot change direction. So if you think about the denominator is the change in the x-coordinate. Since there's no change in the x-coordinate, we'd be dividing by 0. So in this case, a vertical line has undefined, undefined slope. Okay. And finally, for this one, we have a horizontal line. As the x-coordinate is changes, the y-coordinate does not change. So the numerator is the change in the y-coordinate. There is no change in the y-coordinate, so that change would be 0. So your slope would be, you'd have 0 divided by the change in x. So this is slope 0. Example 3. Here we have the graph of a line is given to us, along with the equation of the line. And I'm going to help you find the slope in a few different ways here. The simplest way is to just look at any point on the line and you just figure out what is the horizontal change and what is the vertical change on the line. So as we go two units to the right, we travel one unit down. So we have a positive change, x change of two units, and a y change of negative one. So the slope is the y change divided by the x change. So in this case, negative one, one unit down for the y, and then divide by the x change, which is two. So our slope would be negative one half. And it doesn't matter where you start on the line. If you start here, right, two units to the right, one unit down. So the positive two x change, negative one is the y change. Okay. I could have, if I wanted to, just labeled two points on the line. So this is the point zero three, and say over here, this is the point four one. And I could have found my slope by taking the difference. So the difference in the y coordinates, right? It's one minus three and then four minus zero. So that would be negative two over four, which would also give me negative one half. Okay, I get the same thing. Now, finally, if the line is written in what's called slope intercept form, so that means it's y is mx plus b. So you have a constant y equals a constant times x plus another constant, then that coefficient of x is the slope. So you can see here y equals negative one half x plus three. So this negative one half is in fact the slope. That's why it was negative one half. So that's the last way you can do it. It's very simple. If the line is already written in that form, you can tell by looking at it what the slope is. And that's finding the slope of a line. Now we found the slope in several different ways. As you move forward, make sure you're comfortable finding the slope in each different form, okay, with the equation, with the actual graph, or if you know two points on the line. Until next time, have fun.